I needed a break from work and I need some entertainment. So yeah, just watching the robot vacuum the house and uh, I, I find it fascinating. So my wife uh, confessed to me, she, she came home because she forgot her laptop and I was in the, the kitchen just watching the robot vacuum. And, you know, the robot makes a little bit of noise, but I, I didn't even notice that she had come into the house and open and close the garage door. So I I thought that was pretty funny that I was so caught up in the robot vacuum and watching a robot clean the carpet and the, the hardwood floors that I didn't even notice that she came home. So that's kind of humorous. And now it's off into our bedroom cleaning more of the floors. Here's some fun time lapse <laughs> of the vacuum cleaning. Now it says that it's returning to the dock. You know, it's at 30%. So it's disabled fine robot because the battery's too low, I guess. And once in a while, it will run out of juice and get, or, and or, get stuck. Like right there, it was cleaning behind the door and it'll like accidentally close the door. So I'm gonna close this and hopefully it doesn't get stuck. But it's nice, you know, it just automatically cleans. Look at those nice clean carpet lines that the robot made for us. Another huge perk, it doesn't bother the puppy too much. Do you like the robot vacuum? It's okay, right? He, he secretly said yes. Right, puppy? Does it bother you? Does the sound bother you? I'm sorry. And there it is, just going back and forth. Are you trying to go back to the docking station? You're, you're gonna use every little bit of energy you have left to clean our house. Thank you, Sharky. Oh, watch out, oh, watch out, oh, that was close. It almost got you. It really is just nice to have a robot in the house. You know, I just walk upstairs, walk into the room and it's, and it's clean. Several times over the past week, okay, 11 days, I have wished that it could just kind of go back and forth more, do a Z pattern, but for the $130 model, it doesn't bother me so much. I did it first, no, not so much. It just got stuck. No, it just got stuck underneath the bed, so I had to close that door because it is getting really low on juice. Come on, Sharky. It's gonna be time to, uh, you know, go back to the dock and charge. You're pushing it. Come on. Because it was stuck underneath the bed, it said, suck face has experience in air. I had to stop cleaning because I'm on an uneven surface. Please move me to a flat surface and try again. You like that vacuum cleaner, don't you, puppy? Huh? It's only tried to attack you twice, right? Only twice. It doesn't really attack him, let's be honest. Ooh, 20%. It's pushing the limits. I used to think that it was pretty loud. My daughter reminded me that it's not as loud as the regular vacuum, is it? So it's, it's better for pet's ears, right? It's better for your ears. Battery still shows at 20%. It is cleaning away. Just said its front bumper is stuck. Oh man, what did you do? You are stuck. You got, oh, you're having a fight with the other shark. Okay, here we go. Let's, you've cleaned this area like three times. So we're gonna put you out and No, no, don't, don't go back there. There we go. So now we've shut that door, it can't go in there. 
You going back to your dock now? You've been saying that for like the last 15 minutes. Oh, I think it's gonna go home now. So there's the dock, right back there. Are you trying to remember where your home is? 20%. Oh yeah, back it on in, buddy. Nice. Now the funny thing is, the cleaning, well, the home station, the dock, was about five inches over here, and I moved it to the right, and it still knew exactly how to get back in or return home. I think that's worth noting.